Hey, Ian. Well, it's been cloudy and gloomy looking like this really all day. We're starting to see a little bit of sprinkling around me, but not much rain and definitely not a lot of sunshine or breaking in those clouds, which is something we've been keeping our eye on because you know we talked to the Fox Forecast Center. They're saying when you see some type of clearing or breaking, that could help fuel the storm that's headed our way. So we're expecting the severe weather to come later this afternoon into the evening and to bring with it threats of flash flooding, wind, damaging winds, and even tornadoes, which we already saw some tornado warnings in the state of Pennsylvania today. West central part of the state we saw around lunchtime in places like Jefferson County where Punxsutawney is, also Armstrong County and Indiana County all included in those warnings. And we did see some social media reports of wind damage to homes and a barn in Belknap, Pennsylvania. But the severe weather is still making its way towards us here in Philadelphia. The National Weather Service actually upped the threat level from a level two to a level three. And that doesn't necessarily cover Philadelphia, but just west of us. So places like Allentown, Lancaster, Harrisburg, D.C., Baltimore. Wind is going to be the biggest concern. We're expecting a max of about 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. I've been talking to people here walking around in Philadelphia today because the rain really hasn't started yet. So there are some people out and about. I met Julia, who's actually from Minnesota, but she works from home. So she decided to spend the week here just to have a change of scenery. And she had such an interesting take. She said, you know, the weather is different here because in Minnesota, it just rains. But here, it teases you before it rains. Listen. Oh, it's, it's, it, it almost blew me across the street. It's been really windy, like really, really windy. I felt a few drops, um, so it does seem like it's going to rain, but it hasn't yet. So earlier today, it's, it was like, I don't know, little sprinkles. That's all I felt, and then it just went back hot. Now, of course, as we look towards the severe weather coming to the area, it's always good to think about where you're going to want to go if a warning comes near you. So a place like a basement or somewhere with no windows, somewhere interior inside your house. And think about what you want to do with your pets, too. Guys? Yeah, that powerful line of storm still well back to your west, but we're going to be tracking it every step of the way. As it finally moves to the east coast, we can get the severe weather behind us. Fox Weather's Katie Byrne, thank you very much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.